Hi folks, this is Johnny, home business, Pop Herbin. And let me tell you about something that happened to me uh, in my freshman year of college. Uh, I had a computer teacher, and this was back when the computers were, uh, you know, kind of archaic. You know, we used to have uh, actual punch cards. We had these manila type of punch cards, and they were like a car heavy uh, bendable cardboard thin you had to put them through the machine and as you type things out as you typed your programs um, each each line of your program was coming out on a different punch card very interesting and you come up with a stack of, of punch cards and then you'd feed it back into the computer later and then it would print out all this long 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 sheet of the program that you wrote so anyway that was my uh, initiation into the computers uh, when I was about uh, 17, going on 18 years old, uh, entering into college. So um, uh, my computer teacher used to uh, go to some seminars by a man named Warner Earhart. And uh, my computer teacher's name was Ferlin Primus. And uh, you can comment uh, on this post if you remember Ferlin Primus. He has since uh, uh, passed away. Uh, but not until he taught a lot of people think a little bit more about being and that's the point of this today is are you really being um, are you asking yourself the right questions uh, to enhance your life are you really interested in being here in the moment now with your fellow human beings and are you judging others? Um, are you condemning others? Um, it cuts you off from real communication. Uh, it it uh, prevents many people from fully, fully uh, getting the most out of every day of life because everybody has something to teach us. Um, the art of acceptance is very, very interesting. And I would have you take a look at some of the writings and maybe even some of these uh, YouTube recordings of uh, Warner Earhart. Um, it turned into something, I think these days they call it the landmark training. And anyways, I've been around that philosophy for the better part of my life. And it did shape me uh, as being a more understanding person, person of acceptance. Uh, and I'll tell you, being a human being is a, is a huge, huge responsibility. And uh, we, can, we can really um, strive to make a connection with others and make every day really meaningful, have an imp impact, and add value to life. And as you can hear in the background, Warner Earhart, he'd put on three-hour, four-hour seminars. He'd be talking to 60,000 people at a time you know, in the limelight of his of his philosophy and his uh, the way that he broke through culture and uh, he challenged so many ideologies and he really empowered a lot of people uh, to live their lives you know to row their own boats and I think that's where we can all become ourselves and anyways I just want to let you know that uh, you know you can do it you can make it that you matter that you're valuable so as you uh, as you contemplate my blog today, you know there's there's a lot here, but the main thing is that's what we're called human beings. That means the art of being is so much more important than the doing. We we are human beings, and although we do many things in the process of everything that we do. We have to really, really concentrate on how we are being. And do you love what you're becoming right now? Uh, those hard questions to ask yourself. There's another gentleman who took off on the, a lot of the theories also of Warner Earhart. And you could find him on YouTube too. His name is Carl Frederick. And he wrote the EST version of playing the game, you know. And, uh, you know, one of the key, uh, I think one of the key elements is what story are you telling yourself about yourself? What story are you telling the world? 
you know, and the idea of freeing yourself from the past, uh, creating something in the in the present, you know, and telling an authentic story. So let's get at it. And again, uh, thanks. Hats off to pioneers uh, of of human uh, humanity, uh, such as Warner Warner Earhart and uh, Carl Frederick and and all the great ones, uh, Einstein and uh, you know keep keep learning it's a long journey <laughs>